Are you in the need of a new pair of shorts? It's Jan from YouMakeItSimple.com and I'm going to show you how to make a pair of DIY cutoff shorts from an existing pair of pants. I'll be going over four different hemming methods that you can use. This is a great way to save money, a great way to upcycle an old pair of pants. Very easy to do. So grab a pair of long pants that you want to cut off and let's get started. There are only a few items that you'll need for your cutoff shorts. Of course, you'll need the pair of long pants that you're using to cut off, a pair of scissors, a few pins, a seam gauge, and you may need an iron and an ironing board. And if you are sewing by hand, you'll need a needle and thread and your sewing machine for some of the options. I'm going to show you four different methods that you can use to finish your cutoffs. The first one, of course, is just to cut the short off, cut the pant off and let the fabric fray. If you like that frayed look, it's kind of cute. It's really simple to do, but I'm going to show you a tip that you can use to make it so they don't continue to fray up if you don't want them to. The next method is just a simple rolled hem like you see on this pair of shorts. That's the method that most of your jeans are hemmed with. The next method that I'm going to show you is just an outward rolled cuff, really simple to do. And if you like a more finished look, this is a, tr a just a basic general trouser hem. You can either do this with a sewing machine or you can do it by hand if you don't want to see the top stitching. Whatever method you are going to use, the first thing that you're going to want to do is decide how long you want the shorts to be. Ideally, the best thing to do is just take a pair of shorts that you really like the length of and that you want the length to be the same is just to take that pair of short and use that as your guide. Otherwise, you're going to need to try on the pants and take a pin and while you have the pants on, just simply take a straight pin and just stick it through carefully without sticking your skin while you have your pants on. and marking the length that you want it. Don't cut it off right there yet because we may be adding some depending on what method you are going to use. So first step is just to locate and decide how long you want the shorts to be and go ahead and mark that. So for this pair of pants, I really like the length of this short. So I'm going to show you how you can take a pair of pants and use this as a cutting guide. So if you are using another pair of shorts as a template, face your jeans upright. So the zipper is on the top and take the shorts. Now you want to line up the crotch, not the waist, because some, pa some pants will be longer waisted than others. The important thing is the length from the crotch. So open that, open them up so that you can line up the crotch seam it should be the same, just parallel, making sure that the, the pant bottom is straight. So I've lined up the crotch seam, adjusted that. For the frayed look, you would just simply cut along this edge because this is the finished edge that we want and then we're going to have it frayed just a little bit. If you were using the other methods, we would be adding on to that. So just take your scissors and cut along that edge, making sure not to cut your existing pair of shorts. You can save these pieces. They'll come in handy for other upcycled jean projects, maybe a quilt. Then just fold your pants in half, line up the waist edge So the cut edge is on top. Make sure this is straight. And using this as a template, we're just going to cut that. Pretty simple. So obviously you could just even wear them like this, but if you don't want them to continue to fray like crazy, we're just going to take it to the sewing machine and stitch a regular straight stitch all the way around just a quarter inch from the edge. If you want a longer fray, 
obviously you would make that further away from the edge. So I've just sewn all the way around there. Obviously when you wash it a few times, you're gonna have fraying, but take a needle, just a needle or a pin at the edge of your fabric, pulling and putting your pin into there and pulling out those strings. So there you have it. Let's move on to the rolled hem. I am going to use this pair of shorts again as my guide for the length. So notice how this, this pant leg is a little bit more narrow. The, on, the important thing to make sure that you're getting the straight cut here is to make sure that the waist at the top is even. Take a chalk pen and just trace. And we're going to add three quarters of an inch. Take your seam gauge and at three quarters inches just mark little dashes. And just cut along that. Just fold that in half. Line up the waist. And cut out the other side. So for the rolled hem, we're just going to fold it up 3 8 inches and then press and then fold it up another 3 8 inches and sew all the way around. So set your seam gauge at 3 8 inches. Then we're just going to fold it up. You can just use the edge of the fabric. the same thing on the other side. Now we're going to take it to the sewing machine starting on the inner thigh seam and just top stitch. So you can either sew from the underside or the top side. I threaded my machine with the same color thread as my pants and I'm going to adjust the seam allowance and my stitch just to a straight stitch. Just your basic straight stitch. I'm going to back stitch here and then I'm going to make sure that when my needle, I'm just going to bring my turn my turn wheel and make sure the needle is coming down just inside of the fold here. So you may need to adjust your machine back stitch at the beginning of the end. And again, I'm starting on the inner thigh seam. Clip your threads and you have a cute pair of hemmed shorts. The next method I'm going to show you is a rolled cuff hem like on this pair of shorts. I'm going to use this pant leg here to demonstrate on how to do that. The first thing you'll do is finish off the cut edge. So I have surged around the bottom edge. You can also use the zigzag stitch if you need to. And then just fold it up an inch and then fold it up another inch. You can always just leave it like this. There's so many ways you can cuff your shorts. And this is just using an inch hem. And then I'm going to take it to the sewing machine, the single needle sewing machine and tack this down if you want to so it doesn't come unrolled when you wash it. So the next method I'm gonna show you is a trouser hem. This is a good hem for pants that have a, a little bit lighter weight to them. They're not as dense as a, a denim, just like a dress pant weight. It has a little bit deeper of a hem and lays really nice and flat. So you can either do this by the sewing machine or you can do it by hand. I'm going to show you by using this pair of corduroy pants that I cut off earlier. So once again, you're going to find your desired length and then you're going to add one and three eighths inches. Your first fold is going to be three eighths of an inch. So again, you're just gonna fold that underneath three eighths of an inch and then press that. Just 
just do that all the way around. And then we'll fold it up an inch and press it and pin it in place. So because you are folding up quite a bit, if your pant narrows a little bit, you may have some, a little bit of bulk. Can you see how that's kind of puckering right there? I'm just going to ease that in with the steam and then when you're sewing it, you can ease it in. So there are several ways that you can finish this. You can simply take it to the sewing machine and sew just again right inside that fold there. So you have one top stitching right there. You can do double top stitching or if you don't want to see the top stitching at all, you can do a blind hem with the sewing machine or you can do a blind hem with um, a needle and thread. So I'll just show you in this area how to top stitch. So obviously, if this was a real pair of pants, I would be using brown thread so that you wouldn't see the thread unless you, of course, you wanted that contrast. But I'm going to, just like before, sew just in the, on the inside of that fold there, just sewing all the way around, back stitching at the beginning of the end of the seam. And this blue thread, will be able, I'll, you'll be able to see the contrast. So bring your needle down, make sure it's where you need it to be. And obviously I would sew all the way around, but I'm just doing a little portion so I can show you different, the different styles, but it would look like that. There you have it, four simple ways to finish your upcycled pants into shorts. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and stay tuned for upcoming classes and tutorials. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next class. Mm -hmm.